Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, I mean, I have my back because I have yours. We're going to pull from the evolution of the soul to see where you're evolving to. So many cards fell out, but we're going to take them. So we have the bottom of the deck is a mature soul you're evolving into a mature soul it says embracing otherness lessons is empathy and self-awareness the traits are introspection inquisitive and sensitive so of course you know that our mature nature and our empathetic nature is causing us to have um you know a lot of sensitive energies but it also causes us to be the lone wolf, to break several contracts, um, and this could be within child, uh, you know, people that you grew up with. It can be within the community. Um, you have to find your why and find your uh, community in order for you to not feel um, like you're being taken advantage of or to be understand that lessons of empathy can cause a lot more, but we have the siren here. It says, lead a simple but spiritual life drawn to caring for our earth, connections to ascended masters. So that is kind of where I see it at. You guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. So um, when it comes to, you know, trying to lead a simple life, that means that you are always on the back burner of everything, meaning that you give your knowledge and your wisdom to people and want them to flourish without getting a credit, getting credit for it or without being in the limelight, if that makes sense. The child sold is here. Oh, my niece went to, uh, she's on maternity leave. So, um, yeah, I'm waiting. I need my nails done. Adapting to the rules of life, lessons, social structure, Role, rules, roles is the lessons that you have to learn. And then the traits is discipline, dutiful, and traditional. So when it comes to the childhood energy, you have to learn the rules and to have social structure, meaning dealing with certain type of individuals in your community around you. You need uh, strength. You need support. You need um, encouragement. Um, and you do that. You need that. In turn, you turn around and give that same support to people who you see potential in growing. Um, and that is something that is hard for most to do. But that's a part of who you are as the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're a nurturer and as a Queen of Cups energy as well. But you're very compassionate. You're a nurturer. You provide financially financial support. And you're very practical and calm and comforting. And people come to you. But those same type, same, certain types of people are takers and not givers. So they will take your kindness for weakness and you have to turn around and recuperate from that energy. And so that's where the lessons will um, come in at when it comes to, um, you know, a, a leading a simple but spiritual life because you're able to manifest the things that others can't, but you're able to give it freely. But the and, and that t same turn you can be taken advantage of. Queen of Pentacles energy says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life. Protect and care for them no matter what. OK, so basically where I left off at was breaking the contracts and community. So making a community contribution, uh, con making making a community contribution. It says standing up for the rights of others and deeply caring for social issues. Now, this all is who we are in a nutshell, the mature soul, the, the nurturing person, and then breaking a contract. So in the process of you ever determining that you have to break a contract or not do something that you would normally do or get out of character um, and have to kind of rethink the way that you do things is because um, it's a lot of things that's happening. It says contracts stop serving your growth. So people, places, situation, jobs stops to serve your growth when it comes to what it is and you seeing things. It says uh, freeing yourself from a soul contract. So again, if somebody is taking your kindness for a weakness, altering your divine blueprint. And so sometimes you have to be the one 
and the universe actually will help you get into a situation to where get out of a situation to where your kindness is being taken um, as a weakness and so that's kind of how I see that I'm going to just go ahead and pull you know what let me pull from the true emotional deck and see what comes out and then we'll pull regular tarot but again you're breaking the contracts because um, the emotions are there you know you have basically simplified your life yeah and you've learned the lesson a karmic lesson and karmic to you could be codependent um, karmic energies are dealing with karmic people people who are takers you know this card tried to come out pregnancy fake yeah people who are fake and pregnancy is here but um, that could be where you are going uh, a love child you oh, so this could be in a situation where somebody has a love child and the lone wolf is here. It says solitude um, will be your greatest ally. So instead of um, the karmic lesson is that, you know, permanent feelings based on, excuse me, um, permanent decisions based on temporary emotions brings love child. So again, temporary emotions, something in the heat of the night, you had to break a contract or there was some type of pregnancy that had to involve a love child, whether it be your child or somebody else in a third party situation, but the contract had to be break broken because with you and this person. And it just makes sense because if you see everybody's uh, hands are across. So whatever you have with this person, a child soul, it says adapting to the rules of life, lessons, social structure, rules, roles. It says traits is discipline, dutiful, and traditional. So, you know, again, you try to be everything to everyone, but at some point you become a lone wolf because it's the road to success will be lonely. And you know that living a meaningful life as a loner. And so that goes back to a simple but uh, spiritual life drawn to caring for our earth and um it says connecting to ascended masters and so again yeah opportunities and also balance you need you have balance you're having balance and so you know breaking those contracts when it comes to new opportunities in life you know because these type of energies keep you stagnant new relationships compassion creativity you know those types of things keep you stagnant and when it comes to you know um you know, birth and things like that. You don't want to be a fool anymore. You want to have your cake and eat it too, just like everyone else does. But yours is a little bit different. Yours is you helping others. Yeah. So you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. And the universe is letting you know that you need to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. We have the um, five of cups energy here and also the six of swords. So with the six of swords, again, you could be walking away from the things that no longer serve you and this all has to do with heartbreak the things that are causing you sadness the karmic lessons you had to learn that you know what um not everything is okay and you know when it comes to the beauty of a child you know that that's something that you know um in any other situation you would accept but this one is something hard um love child um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if the Diana Ross and the Supremes song was it Love Child? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love Child. Was it Love Child? I think that's for some reason it's coming up as Love Child in my brain, but a Love Child is here. Hmm, let me look it up. But a Love Child is here. So, um, yeah, um, I think that, uh, I don't think that's what it is. I don't think it's love child. What is it? Um, but the thing is, is that, um, you know, you had to learn your lesson in regards to, yeah, it's called love child. Oh, see? Um, and I know the Supremes because I, I know it word for word, but I just wanted to make sure I was saying it right. Heartbreak, love child. And you also being a mature person, you want to be the bigger person when it comes to things, unexpected things, because this child didn't ask to be here. You want balance. You want happiness. You want to be able to, at that same time, be in the full energy and um, kind of take a leap and do things uh, a little bit different and have a new beginning. But new beginnings um, also cause sadness. And so you making this decision when it comes to how you feel and a child being here, no, you're never going to judge that child or act as if that child has anything to do with the situation. It's the actual 
um, contract that you had with the person and their their contract that they have with other people so third party energies and why you're the lone wolf and this kind of looks like to me that you know um, adapting to the rules of life you know the ebb and flows of life it could have been a situation to where you didn't know or you you weren't expecting this or this all happened within a certain amount of time and you know your emotions are just all over the place let me go ahead and pull from the mixed emotions deck to see what emotions come out in here but again new beginnings new opportunities so this could have been something that was new to you the balance was uh maybe there or maybe it wasn't there because again um if you just are the type of person to go with the flow you let things unravel yeah it caused you to be depressed empty it says numb withdrawn and at the same time you know you're empowered by what you choose to do i'll get i'll pull that over and shy so you're afraid to to speak up you're a very powerful strong person and that's where the old soul comes in at but as we speak what you want to do is lead a simple but spiritual life and you know the acceptance of others in certain situations cause you to be lonely again lone wolf being here so at some point there was a baby that was born um there is something that has happened but you need a balance within yourself because you've already stepped out and tried to um be the peacemaker but it made you feel like a fool and you know that and that's why you walked away i don't know um show me what i need to know and this is the card deck the show me deck yeah you you walked away and so you know again take what resonates leave what doesn't if it's not for you it's just not for you but this is kind of what i see so overall you've been empowered you've been doing this you're empowered because you learned the karmic lesson the card that comes on how how abundance comes and it says how support is present um so again you have to support yourself that's what it seems like to me how abundance comes is you moving forward and breaking contracts and that's just kind of how i see that so um let's see what i want to pull from yeah um even though the breakup oracle because the breakup contracts yeah even though you know things were unexpected you know um it could have been it, it says pregnancy it says dna and it says fake rules um i don't know fake news um maybe somebody told you told this person it was theirs and um you turned around yeah hard to read yeah you confuse me you give me mixed signals so this person was hard to read so i don't know or maybe you're hard to read now so uh yeah it just caused you to feel like to pull your energy back and become timid resistant and uh reserved undecided honestly i don't know what to what i want not sure if i want a relationship yeah so um how support is present this card um how support is present it says uh yeah so this is where the support is yeah all in your head so it says your love cap captured me it says everywhere i look i see your face sorry i couldn't really see it's a glare everywhere i look i see your face but so how abundance comes abundant com abundance comes when you walk away from the things that at this point are not serving you it doesn't mean that it won't never serve you it just means that right now you are dealing with things that you had no control over and this person might have so permanent uh, excuse me permanent decisions on temporary emotions this person might have been a one night stand might have been something but again you basically had to yeah knight of cups energy follow your heart always follow your heart because it never uh excuse me um always follow your heart because it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain this is you following your heart and trusting your intuition and that's how abundance comes you know trusting your intuition and queen of swords energy speaking your mind um it says stand up for yourself wait 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 do 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 stand up for yourself always speak your mind and don't take shit from anyone that's a part of where you need to know um if the support is present and so is there support present in this situation um i don't think so and so therefore because this person is all in their head and they realize that you know and you realize that you know what the only thing that i can do right now is to 
um, move forward because this person is undecided. They're hard to read when it comes to the situation because now that there is a child born or now that there is something new or someone new, it doesn't necessarily have to be a child. This could be you coming in on a third party situation or this could be a third party situation that you knew about and you were okay with until this happened and now everything is just like okay but the undecided part is having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness but not walking away being a fool for this situation and um not really trusting in your intuition and so the abundance comes in when you realize and learn the karmic lesson there is a lesson in every situation is it karmic um no it's toxic you know it's toxic because how you know you you can never compete with the kid i don't care what somebody else says in the back of their mind, it's it's always about the kid and it always should be. And so therefore, when it comes to you understanding that, you know, you're sad and you don't want to speak your mind, but at the same time, you need to empower yourself and realize that it's time to break the contract and kind of do things alone, spend some time alone, figure out what it is that you need to do. I'm going to pull from the Hidden Heart Secrets. Mm. Or should I pull from the What's the Tea deck? Mm. Look. Uh, uh, let's see, I'll pull from the hidden heart secrets, a heart's hidden secrets. I keep saying it backwards, but yeah, I just think that's where abundance comes from. You following your heart and feeling empowered, knowing that you made all the right decisions and yep, distance yourself. And at the bottom of the deck is sorrow. It says loss, grief, and depression. Again, depression comes out twice. This person is all in their head because they're lost and they're lusting for you. Um, they realize that you guys are soulmates, but you've distanced yourself from this person. So distance brings that makes the heart fonder. Is that how they say that? And so they want more with you, but at the same time, you know, they already made their bed and they have to lay in it. And so therefore, you know, the hard to read, you're hard to read because again, um, you don't trust the situation anymore. And so that's the reason why you had to know what abundance come where where abundance comes from because it's you being empowered and understanding and not letting this situation stop you from moving forward because at the end of the day, you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, those cards were falling. Yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. And so basically the only thing that I can tell you is that you have the decision. You got the whole world in your hand because that's what the empowered card is. You have the decision to hit the jackpot, winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money, to be in another and in the same type of romantic love affair um, and be a sex fix for someone. And I can't make that up to be a sex fix for someone because they're lusting over you um, or to hit the jackpot and realize that there's there's something else out there for you and to move forward, you know. And so therefore, you had to distance yourself in order to be empowered or to empower yourself. And so it's easier said than done. But when it comes to this situation, you reflecting and yeah, robbed, lost, theft, physical, or emotional. Yeah. So again, sorrow, you are sad and you feel like people took your time away uh, by you dealing with this energy. You know, they took your time away and it's always going to be the same shit, different day. And also you got to dust your shoulders off. You got to get that dirt off your shoulders and you're reflecting and so that is where it says right here so you can see it dust off your shoulders so you gotta you know you gotta dust off your shoulders because and be empowered because if you keep letting this happen the separation is going to be back and forth back and forth back and forth which it probably already has been but you have to stand up for yourself always speak your mind don't take shit from anyone and go from there because if this is a karmic situation the only thing that you can do is move forward and no matter whether you're sad or not you can't let never let them see you sweat what commercial was that yeah never let them see you sweat this is the karmic twin flame and soulmate deck um let's see what comes out yeah forgiveness they want you to forgive them and awaken fears it says your worst fears are being awakened such as rejection abandonment loss or commitment issues and bringing out all the skeletons hidden in your closet so this is not necessarily you this could be their energy but Again, your fears are awakening because you made these uh, these different things part of the plan. The universe has brought you two together just 
trust the journey even if you don't quite understand it and so that's the reason why you have this old soul because you realize that everything happens for a reason and the empowered soulmate type energy is what you feel but at the same time like this could be us but you're tripping or having that jay-z and beyonce type energy but is it a really good energy or is that a show you know and so sometimes you have to break those contracts in order to really see again listen to lemonade she had to yeah, that runner chaser type energy, you and your twin flame may switch back and forth between the two roles, often out of fear of experiencing true intimacy. So again, twin flame soulmate energy. And it says, I'm sorry, it says your twin either wants to apologize or it's time that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done. This will help you heal from the past. So that's a lot. Like I said, distance brings makes the heart fonder so at some point this could be part of the plan and it awakened your fears and therefore it awakened theirs too because you you know you accepted this energy and you tried to be mature about it but at the same time your energy what they stole the time that they stole from you you'll never be able to get back you being able to stand up for yourself is empowering you know that this is you know a soulmate somebody who you feel like is your soulmate but should you forgive them so again, dust your shoulders off. You got to get that dirt off your shoulders, you know? So again, whether they're hard to read or you're hard to read, you're the person who understands um, how to leave, lead, a, lead a simple but spiritual life to send strength and healing, but also to break contracts and what it feels like to be alone and also to have that mature soul. And it says um, embracing others. So you knew this person's downfall before you even start dealing with them and you looked over a lot of things so I'm not saying that it's wrong or right but your empathy and self-awareness when it comes to um, your introspection and inquisitive energy right and sensitive nature is why you knew crystal wall what you were going to get yourself into so I think that was a good read so you this is awaken your fears the karmic energy awaken your fears and uh, this could be part of the plan but only you know that and the forgiveness is something that you have to do regardless of if this person comes back or not because if you don't the past causes fear and the future causes anxiety and that what if will cause you to stay in limbo so forgive them and move forward uh, whether it be in the 5d or the 3d you have to be able to make those decisions I can't make them for you so I'm going to pull from the four agreements and then I'm going to pull from the crystal deck. If you want to know my meanings and my um, interpretation of the four agreements, my niece is off um, on maternity leave. So just bear with me. Um, then you can click the links up above. So again, be impeccable with your words. That's who the queen of swords is. Say what you want me, what you say, you know, um, be unbiased. Uh, when you judge, <laughs> have clear boundaries and be very direct with everything. Seek to know the truth. And that's what you want is to know the truth. And it's on the back of your mind. So you might as well figure it out. You've already been empowered by this lesson that you've learned. And it may be karmic lessons. But remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. So it says, when you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement and it becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on truth. On, only the truth has the power to set you free. So empowered, setting yourself free and breaking contracts and only the truth, which is the forgiveness part of it, right? Well, has the power to set you set you free or you have to be able to dust off your shoulders to forgive this person in the 5D and to move forward. And so the Apache Tears is the crystal deck and it deals with the root chakra. It's grounding, protecting and healing, grounding, protecting, healing. And it says, I am healing emotional wounds. And that's a part of the wound that you need to heal. And this person needs to heal as well. When it comes to the, the all of this stuff that happened unexpectedly and you taking the leap and also knowing what that this was going to be a sad journey for you, this is the road to success and it will be lonely when you walk away. So you have to be able to have an epiphany because this stuck out to me. You have to be able to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And that, my darling, is how abundance comes, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go.
and now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.